This video contains content that some might find disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Have you ever watched a cat play with its food before eating it? There's something horrifying about a predator who is fully capable of killing its prey, choosing to wait instead, seemingly basking in the fear, enjoying it. For our narrator, he'll unfortunately find out what it feels like to be toyed with. I'm Ryan Bergara, and this is Are You Scared? A show where I tell my friend, Shane Madey, the internet's scariest stories. So lock your doors, turn off the lights, and let's see if we can make it until the end. Someone is hiding in my house. This episode is sponsored by Honey. Honey is the number one shopping tool in America. Many people don't understand just how easy it is until you put it to work yourself. Honey basically automatically searches for promo codes so you don't have to. It works for things you're already buying on lots of sites you're already shopping on. You could use it for things such as shoes, video games, food delivery. Recently, I used it for a pair of shoes myself. And most importantly, it's free savings for things you are already interested in. It's easy, it's fun, and you save money. You can add it for free at joinhoney.com slash watcher, which you can click on in the description of this video. Get Honey Today, the premier online shopping tool that helps you save money and time. Now, back to Are You Scared? It all started with a cup of water. Every morning, I climb out of bed, march downstairs, fill a tall glass with tap water, and drink it. Every morning. Not to brag, but I'd gotten pretty good at it. <laughs> Sounds like he's bragging. Anytime someone says not to brag, here comes a brag. Not to brag, but I put on my shoes before I go outside. <laughs> I've gotten pretty good at it. <laughs> you have a morning routine besides waking up and being a D-bag? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna ask an earnest question. <laughs> and I guess you did. <laughs> Except for one morning, about a year ago, I hiccuped as I started drinking and the water went down the wrong way. I started coughing bad, sputtering, almost choking. I wish there was someone else around for this guy to be like, uh, not to brag, but yeah, I do this every morning. <laughs> <laughs> I set the glass down on the countertop, turned away, and thumped my chest until the coughing stopped. When I turned back, the cup of water was gone. I froze, my eyes darting back and forth around the kitchen. There was a shift in the air, a subtle drift, as though a wind had just blown through the room. I stepped back from the countertop, and my heel bumped into something. I spun around. It was the glass of water, tumbling over with a clattering thud. Empty. Confused, I squatted down, picked it up, and studied it. Turned it over in my hand like it was some strange alien artifact. What just happened? Very possible in a coughing fit, this person just flailed their I'm, look, I'm an, I own some long limbs. Yeah. I'm a flailer. I see it, dude. So I could see myself in a coughing fit just knocking some glassware off of a table. Yeah. But I certainly wouldn't then go, oh? Huh? Yeah, I imagine this is what you think most is of my a, life is like. Is this a tesseract? Thinking, thinking that there's a ghost in my kitchen. This is not my morning routine. No. You don't wake up and you're not immediately terrified of the world? No. Well, I mean, I, I am that, but yeah. you know, that's, that's a person, <laughs> that's a person. After 2020, I think we all are. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I called my sister. She laughed. There must be a reasonable explanation, she said. Perhaps Dash from The Incredible snuck into your house and moved the cup, she teased. I laughed. Maybe I dropped the glass in my coughing fit and it somehow landed upright. Crazier things have happened. I forgot about the incident and moved on with my life. But then the cup trail incident occurred. What the hell could the cup trail incident the be? The cup trail. It's not a very chilling name. 
No, yeah. get, it must have been a terrifying event, but Cup Trail incident doesn't exactly not, strike fear into my yeah. little heart. My, my, you know, I, I measure... What is your, what? I measure my fear by how tight the butthole oh. clenches. Oh, okay. And yeah, your sphincter. Do this. No, here, yeah, okay, so how many, okay. how much you dilated by the, by the fucking Cup Trail incident? Here. I'm, I'm showing you. So, oh, I see. You don't think it's scary Not scary! Oh. Cup Trail? Come up with something better in 10 seconds. Um, it's kind of hard because you don't have any detail. The Goblets of Fear. That's oh. better. That's already better. Yeah, it's already better. He did that in 10 seconds, baby. That's Shane Madej, dude. Yeah. That's Shane Madej. Yeah, put him on the timer and he'll have your fucking sphincter looking pristino, baby. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I'll scare you that much. Yeah, you could crunch a walnut when that that's bad boy. right. Just don't eat it. Not long after the first cup incident, I snapped awake just before 3 a.m. Somehow, all my lights were suddenly on. A power surge, I guessed. I climbed out of bed, marched across the room to the switch, and froze. Sitting on the floor in the middle of the upstairs hallway was a half-empty glass of water. The floor creaked as I crept out into the hallway. I squatted down, picked up the glass of water, and... Fingerprints. Fogged onto the glass were dozens and dozens of fingerprints. I recoiled dropping the glass. It thumped on the ground and spilled over into the carpet. I glanced back over my shoulder. A looming sense of unease climbed through my body. I stood back up and... Another half-empty glass of water, sitting at the top of the stairs. I walked forward and looked down the stairs. Another cup sat halfway down the steps. A trail of half-empty cups put there by someone other than me. Cups everywhere is a very poltergeisty thing. Yeah, that's, Wouldn't you uh, say? this is a playful little ghost. Yeah. If this is a ghost. Mm -hmm. I actually would prefer this to be a ghost because if this is a human who snuck into my house, you don't want someone playing little games with you who's not a child, if you right. know what I mean. Because all I could picture is like, like this creepy adult man looming in the shadows behind like a curtain like, oh, I don't like that one bit. No, ooh. <laughs> No, 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 no. Right? Yeah, I don't like it. I went back to my bedroom for my phone to call the police. My charger was on my bedside table, but my phone was not. My phone was gone, and somebody was in my house. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Downstairs, something vibrated against the hardwood floor. A quick one, two, three. Buzz, buzz, buzz. The distinct pattern my phone had for notifications. Somehow, my phone was downstairs. I went back to the stairs, took a deep breath, and stepped forward. My phone was laying on the kitchen floor, buzzing around in lazy circles. I picked it up and flicked on the screen to call the police. But once again, I froze. My eyes caught a push notification at the top of the screen. New photo saved to cloud. I raised an eyebrow tapped on the notification and my breath caught in my lungs. It was a photo of me, fast asleep, taken in my bedroom at 2.57 a.m., right before I woke up. I dialed 911. I don't Why know do what I would do in this situation. You'd leave, you should leave, leave. It's less creepy to me that someone breaks into your house and just kills you. There's something more creepy about someone who wants to kind of toy with their food before they... Yeah, they're equally creepy to me. If someone broke into my house and just killed me, <laughs> I'd probably say, this is creepy. It's a bummer. You know you're being creepy right now. <laughs> I dialed 911. A calm voice answered, 911, what's your location? I gave them my address. What's your emergency? She replied, there's somebody in my house. Are you in a room? What? Please get to a safe room and lock the door. I shuffled to the downstairs bathroom, slammed the door and locked it. Upstairs, a door slammed shut. They're upstairs, I said into the phone. Help is on the way. Focus on breathing. Breathe in. I breathed in. Breathe out. I breathed out. Breathe in. I'm not here for the breathing exercises. <laughs> yeah.
the person on the phone is like, like, I'm gonna play some rain sounds Yeah, now. this is not a Lamaze class, lady. I'm about to get fucking axe murdered in my house. The dispatcher would definitely say like, get out of the house, yeah, not dude. hide in a closet yeah, it's... like Laurie Strode. Yeah. Hope he doesn't find you. Get to the highest floor you can, preferably the one with no way out. <laughs> this may be actually what I would be like as a dispatcher because when the pressure's on, I don't think I'm good at advising people. Um, uh, uh, hide in a, a bathroom. The person next to me is like, did you tell them to get in a bathroom? Yeah, should I have told them to leave? Then you hear on the other line, oh, you're fucking dead now. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're just like, well, lost another one. Next. Uh, <laughs> what would you be like as a dispatcher, bro? I don't think I can handle it. I'd be like, ah. <laughs> you just hang up. Ah. Upstairs, another door swung open and slammed shut. The intruder was looking for something or looking for me, checking every room. Sir, are you there? Yes, I whispered. The slamming doors were getting closer. As the door at the top of the stairs slammed shut, I heard a door to a downstairs closet almost simultaneously swing open and close. Not to brag, but I've got a lot of doors in my house. <laughs> no, I don't think that's where they're going. Either there were multiple intruders or this person was impossibly fast. Sir? He's, he's, sir, are you still in the bathroom? The bathroom? I never told them I was hiding in the bathroom. Sir, are you there? This time, the voice wasn't just coming from my phone. I could hear it on the other side of the door as well. The 911 operator was inside my house. The bathroom doorknob jostled. Sir, open the door please, she said. Dropping the phone, I grabbed the handle and pulled back with all my strength, determined to keep the person out. Sir, please open the door. I didn't budge. Sir, open the door, open the door, open the door, she kept repeating, like a broken record, like a recording. Inside the bathroom, the lights started turning on and off, on and off, a rapid cycle between light and dark, faster and faster. Sir, we can't help you if you don't open the door, she said, on the verge of laughter. Oh, sorry, I don't like that either. No, laughter's never fun. They're fucking having a blast on the yeah. other side of this door. This is like the evil version of Frozen. <laughs> you know, fucking you wanna build a snowman, except the snowman is your death. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, are you there? Sir, I heard the front door burst open. Police, a baritone voice boomed. Silence. Police, I remained quiet. I wasn't going to fall for this. Why were the police here if I never actually contacted 911? Hands gripped around the doorknob. I remained motionless. This is good. This is freaky, man! <laughs> There's a lot going on I here. Don't, this person's really getting to the thing that creeps me out. Yes, well. I've never read a story before where, where the police come and I'm not like, oh, help's thank there. Goodness, right. How terrifying that you would still be like, I can't trust that. I don't know. I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> like Shrug emoji. <laughs> who knows what this person's capable of? Right. Obviously, they got super speed and they're like fucking with the lights and stuff. So like they could easily change their voice. You know, like the T-1000 does like a voice of the mom or yeah, something. Funny. Yeah. Scary. Hello, said the deep voice. Then the crackle of radio static. I'm getting no response requesting backup. It took the police nearly 20 minutes before they forced the bathroom door open. The actual police. I was a wreck, ranting and raving, telling them about the woman on the phone, telling them about the cups of water on the floor. They sent me in for a psych eval and I was discharged a few days later. No one believed my story. Even with the photo of me sleeping, everyone said there must be a reasonable explanation. Now that's bullshit. That's some bullshit. What reasonable explanation could there possibly be for that photo? You got any drones? They're like sleep piloting? <laughs> I feel bad for this person. I've never- Oh, do ya? Actually, you know what I was just about to say? I've never been in a situation where I've seen something 
and it was clearly there and someone was telling me I was crazy. And uh, I just realized I have been in that situation several times. When? Oh, you know. You know. It's fun to be the way I am. You son of a bitch. I moved out the next month. In hindsight, I should have done so earlier. Now I live upstate in a much smaller house with fewer places for would-be intruders to hide and cameras everywhere. If anyone tries messing with me again, I figured, this time I'll have receipts. Nothing unusual has happened and I've finally been getting better at falling asleep again. That is, until tonight. Right now, I'm lying on my bed, writing this on my phone, paralyzed with fear. An hour and a half ago, I got home from work late and crawled right into bed. That was my big mistake. I broke my daily ritual of checking the cameras before entering the house to see if any motion was recorded during the day. But it had been a long day and I wanted to go to sleep. I could check the cameras in bed, I thought. Lying here, I pulled up the app that runs the cameras. My heart skipped. 12 hours and 23 minutes ago, motion detected bedroom camera. I closed my eyes and took some deep breaths. Finally, I summoned the courage to watch the footage. It was me mulling about the house, getting ready for work and leaving. I sighed with relief. Of course it was me, I should have known. My schedule was thrown off and I was running late, so the cameras detected me. Then, 30 seconds after I left for the day, there was another security notice. Motion detected bedroom camera. What do you think it's gonna be? You think it's a person? You think it's oh, a ghoul? God, I hate you that, You think it's dude. a monster? I hate that. You think it's a shadow person? Just the idea that once again, someone's just fucking around in your house when you're gone or asleep. Well, you move upstate, you upgrade. You don't think this little fiend's gonna follow you? Well, you got a smaller house and you got cameras. You would think this thing knows cameras are there. Then again, uh, somehow was able to hack into the police mainframe. It, it possessed a cell phone. Yeah. So it's it true. can possess cameras. It's, it's got probably like a thing with Verizon. So right. It knows, yeah. how, it knows how that works. Yeah. Good on this uh, demon. Are you thinking demonic, by the way? I have no idea what the fuck's going on right okay. now. Okay. <laughs> this is crazy, but I do want to see what's on this camera. I clicked on the footage. My empty bedroom. Dark. I squinted, nothing. Then, in the footage, the lights flicked on, then back off. They flicked on and off, and then, then I saw something that filled me with a fear far beyond anything I've ever felt. The lights flicked back on, but this time, a person appeared as well, standing in the middle of my room with pin-straight posture hands over their face like someone playing peekaboo. The footage began to fast forward on its own. Shadows drifted across the wall as the sun arced along its path outside my window. But the person just stood there, motionless as the world sped by, hands covering their face. 30 seconds before I arrived home, the footage snapped back to normal speed. Hearing I was home, I assume, the person in the footage perked up. Then, hands still covering their face, they dropped to their knees. In one smooth, almost robotic motion, they fell to their side and rolled under the bed. Under my bed. They rolled under the bed I am currently lying on, typing on my phone in the dark. Yeah, that's scary. Why are you rolling under a bed if you're like a magic man? <laughs> huh? What the fuck, dude? That's the end of the story. That's the end of the story. <laughs> so, are you scared? Holy shit. <laughs> so just sort of like this? God, just like the image of someone just it's standing a still. Yeah, sure, like sure. It's hours, just, people don't stand still. It ain't normal. Unless you're one of those silver people at the park. Yeah. What? One of the, the robot men, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, I like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like them either. Let me ask you this. Okay. When you were a kid, did you ever think there was something under your bed? Yeah, because there was that one time where I heard a laugh at the bottom of my bed. Oh, fuck, I forgot about that story. It's horrifying. What there was the no one else like? around. I just heard like a, <laughs> you know, I never figured it out. I would just lay in my bed, even if I had to go to the bathroom. I never did, but I would have pissed my pants if I had to. Yeah, that's actually probably a pretty good 
choice in yeah, this situation. Yeah, because it just drips onto them. Drips right on through. Okay, so if you enjoyed this story, this was written by at Marcus Cleaver. That's his Instagram. And you can also check out his subreddit, r slash Polterkites, uh, also in the description. Thank you to Marcus. Another spooky tale. A I good gotta one say, here. I'm having trouble sleeping this season. <laughs> yeah, are you? Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, that's what I'm here for. So I like to hear it. Until next time. Good night. Sleep tight. Ha, 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 ha.